Andrea, it's 7 a.m. and we are it's close to 7 a.m. Close to 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing outside of the Boscolo dei Doji? So we're gonna we're gonna take a boat and start uh, a ride uh, around the, the, the little canal of Venice, trying to discover the inner light, the, the typical atmosphere of Venice, the Venetian atmosphere before leading to the fish market. And for uh, a couple of the chefs, this is the first time in Venice, so they are like uh, like virgins in Venice for the very first time. It is, it's almost like we're in Vegas. <laughs> what is it really? You know, so it has to be very practical and philosophical at the same time. So we have to find this balance, and you find it. I mean, we're creating a dialogue, you know. Right. That's why it's, it's, it's very important because he, these guys, you know, from the first row, everyone is going pretty much into the concept of the dish more than the dish itself. Yeah. Pick some mackerel yes. and some anchovy because uh, Dave Chang took all of the nice things. So I take everything that's left. What did he take? <laughs> uh, he took all the shellfish. All the shellfish. Okay. He took the prawns. He took the uh, the scallops. He took everything. So what are you going to be paired with? I don't know, but uh, chicories. Fennel, lemon. Uh, I don't know, what else did I take? Uh, artichokes. artichokes. The purple artichokes they have here, love them, beautiful. So somehow I'm going to make something with those things. Daniel Patterson chose not to use any of this beautiful stuff. <laughs> Tried to buy a lot of stuff so they couldn't use any. And any chef loves a market, that's how it is. Seeing fresh products, that's it, that's what it's about. Okay. So, for sure. An inspiration for tomorrow night, or you're more into meat or vegetables? No, or? it's gonna be vegetable. I'm, 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 I'm cooking vegetables, I'm cooking a dish of pickles, you know. The dish is, uh, the dish is called the Jensen's Hard Winter of 41. So in 41 it was extremely cold in Denmark. Yeah. It was a very hard winter. It was so cold that the water was frozen from Denmark to Sweden, the sea. You could walk across. It was 38 days straight of frost. Minus 30 degrees was the coldest day. And what do you eat? What, what do you have to eat back then? <clears throat> On top of everything, we're occupied by the Germans. <laughs> As an actual little plus, you know? <laughs> so, uh, so this is a dish that involves pickling, salting, drying. And I started doing the dish in, uh, in summer. It's more calamari. Look at the size. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. That's amazing. So what are you going to be doing with it? Uh, the main idea is I'm mixing with a invernal food, uh, tradition, it, it, Italian tradition, and Brazilian flavors. So I bring from from myself uh, uh, a kind of Amazon root called Priprioca, and this calamari will be cooked in, with a sea water, uh, ice, shaking lots of times. And that's became very tender and crunch in the same time. And we serve it with, with, with the Amazon grill, so we'll be we'll, we'll be fine. It's something different to cook with cookie draw. It, it, it makes you to think a lot, and and it's really interesting concept. What are you going to cook? Uh, Peasant soup, like because uh, of, uh, the, the, of the region with wine and and uh, the winter, and uh, I wanted to put some wine in my plate, so I make a chabro. It's a uh, chabro in France. The the peasant puts wine in the in the end of the soup.
And cold, it's very said, simple dish. A cold soup. Cold soup, yeah. Uh, today it's winter, but uh, it was a beautiful day because uh, it was cold and dry and sunny. So s for me, winter is hard, but uh, we have like, a, it's not sunshine, but sunny day. So it's, it's nice. And uh, so you have the bad side of the winter, but you have the good side of the winter. So I'm using an artichoke. It's a special artichoke and you have a lot of spines on the artichoke. So it's like winter, it's not, you don't want to touch it. And so when you peel it, in France, you have an expression, cœur d'artichaut. Cœur d'artichaut, this is, means uh, fall in love or something very sweet, sweetness. So when you peel this artichoke, when you take out all the pines, it's beautiful inside. So I will cook the artichoke hearts. And uh, I'm cooking uh, with uh, black truffles, because it's season now, mm -hmm. and uh, pomelo, a special um, grapefruit. Uh, so this pomelo for me, is, this is, it's a sunny day, you know, it's nice. I, I like preparing my idea is uh, uh, raw 100 for 100. Mm. It's a uh, touch, the minimum, uh, apple, and uh, well, play with the, the nature, uh, make a rose. This rose is half is real apple, another half is a Jewish apple with a sweet wine variety. And very simple with yogurt and, uh, and lemon. I like uh, just the people with the one C, uh, really um, sensibility and surprise. Wow, look, that's just apple, that's all. We killed a pig this morning and um, I wanted to bring, to make the people understand, killing a beautiful produce like a pig we killed yesterday, this morning, it was fantastic. I wanted to bring that back on the plate. So I'm going to serve, uh, we all saw the blood pouring out of his throat. And I'm going to serve uh, a blood soup with the pickled cockles. And it will be served at body temperature. That's the biggest, I'm trying to serve it at 37 degrees. Where that, when I tested this morning, it was the body temperature. Okay, I'm going to try to serve that tomorrow with the pickle, the sharpness of the pickle cockles and cockles and pig go very well together. And we got, I got the liver and I'm going to make a parfait with it. Try to bring back that pig in valor. What is sure this morning? It was not a waste. It was only the same idea to respect in the produce. El plato en sí mismo es un redundar en el mar. Construimos un plato en el que los elementos lo que hacen es ser esenciales, ¿no? Entonces, imaginemos que la ostra es el sabor del yodo, del mar, la sal, algas, otra alga, codium, con sabor a trufa, sabor a percebe, sabor a ostra, sabor a mar, una emulsión de agua de, de la ostra con una infusión de otro tipo de alga que me permite la emulsión y juego con matices eh, Sensorial y gustativamente hablando, muy cercanos a la tierra donde estamos. Mon plat, c'est le dernier, après le dessert, il va servir, euh, s'appelle dynamique de bœuf et poule. C'est un consommé, servi dans euh, un verre, qu'il faut faire tourner comme, comme le verre. Il y a un jeune d'œuf au fond, que quand on va tourner, il va monter, mais il y a de, de la glace sur le verre de un bœuf que j'avais euh, cuisiné 5 ans avant, dans le 2004. Are you going to be cooking tomorrow night or just here to enjoy what the chefs are preparing for you? Uh, we're here to whip the chef if they don't cook quick enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. I totally agree, I totally agree. Yeah. We'll be watching over the chefs. Yeah. They will be under our control. All those chefs, you know, they're from a young generation and they didn't do the army. We're here to... Huh? They will learn <laughs> yeah, what it means yeah. to command and obey. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Gonna put Rush them with, up to the with, shooting with. party. Yeah. Go to the fishing party. Yeah. And, to, and be there. Yeah. Okay, guys. They're not gonna, be <laughs> they're not, <laughs> not they're not gonna like us. Yeah. For the moment. But in, Why ten they, year, but in 10 years they're gonna they say, will, They will oh, say, Andrea and Christoph, they taught me so much. <laughs> right. We're gonna be huge on YouTube. <laughs> 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 yeah.